Hello guys, this is Reda, and uh, today I'm going to be showing off this neat little program that was coded by Sean Welk. Uh, he's an uh, admin from EU, he's uh, a referee, and uh, he does some other stuff for the anti-cheat in esports. So uh, uh, he does do a lot of coding here, and this bot is very useful, and uh, it can do a lot, as you do see here. But the main purpose of it, and what it was originally created for, is to automatically open up your crates when you receive them, and to claim the rewards whenever they're done so as you see here on the bot you see gold crate opening that means that it instantly uh, whenever it's done it's going to go ahead and open it for you now it does refresh the website web page about every 30 seconds so it is a uh, it's not exactly like on the second when you receive it but it is going to be fairly quick um, so you won't ever have to check the website and also whenever you collect them it shows success opening so that means that it's going to go ahead and start going uh, so looking at some of these tabs here I'm going to start with the resources you do see that this right here shows all your resources you have right there and it also shows what it would be if you convert it now with his uh, discord bot you can also see that with a command but this makes it a lot easier you can just click one button and there you go um, also another tab is your crates now this shows you exactly what crates you have opened you never have to even open up the web page only this bot um, also there is the about page which shows the design by John Welk uh, you got an email and the version and then the update now whenever you start up the prog program it will tell you if there's an update or not also you can click the update button itself if you want to be very sure now, to install uh, this program, to be able to use it, you're going to need to first install Python. Now, you're going to want to hit the newest version here. You can go ahead and click Download Python. Uh, or if you want a specific version down here, if it, you, if it fancies you, you can go ahead and click one of these. But it's not necessary. You should be able to work with the newest one. Click Open. Uh, now, basically, all this program is, it's basically a language, a coding language uh, that will help uh, run the program. It'll be a program that's going to open it up. Um, so without this, you wouldn't be able to run the program itself. So uh, you can go ahead and just install now. I already have it installed, but everything should be fine there. You don't need to do custom installation uh, unless you're going to be coding about yourself, which I've had problems with before. But this should work fine. And once you're done with that, you're going to be able to go on to the next step. Now to install this, you're going to want to go to a web page, GitHub, it is Sean's official one, he has his Discord bot here and some other things, but I'm going to leave the link down in the description, but once you're here, you're going to scroll down and go to this releases button. I'm also going to leave this uh, slash releases link down there below too. Now it will be the top one right now. Uh, of course, 1.81 is the newest one made eight days ago, but he's made many different versions before. But the only one you're going to need is right down here on assets. Click GUI unpacked. Now, whenever you download this, it might give you a warning saying that's not trustworthy, but trust me, it is very trustworthy. Sean Welk is a, he's a Warface moderator and he would never do anything. Also, the code is shown there on the web page. Everything that is included is there. It is completely safe. So now all you're going to want to do is actually click this zip. And whenever you get this, you're going to drag this onto your desktop. And once you're here, I already have it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel. But this is the crate manager. Now, the reason why I use this one unpacked instead of the regular one right here is because each time whenever you start it, it's going to take up some power on your PC just to uh, go ahead and unpack it each time you start up the bot. Um, so this one basically just has everything down here and it also has a, a thing called creds.json and that's going to have your information stored right there. Uh, but once you start it up, it should take just a couple of seconds. Depending on your PC, it could take up to about a minute uh, for it to start itself. But that's just loading all the files together. Um, but since I already have it up here, um, I'm going to uh, take it down and then restart it. Now, once you're here, you're going to see there's three different options up top. Uh, there's going to be my.com, Steam, and MailRU, depending on whatever one you want to use. If you're linked to Steam, you're going to want to have this hit Steam. Uh, you type in your email and your password here, and this does not give anybody any information. It's going to be stored onto this local file called greds.json. So uh, do not worry about anybody taking your information. This is completely safe. 
Um, so whenever you hit login, it's going to go ahead and start the program. And actually, whenever you're Steam, uh, it's going to ask you for a code. Um, and that's going to be your, uh, you know, if you have a two-way security, it's going to ask you for that code. Now, something he just added recently into this bot was actually a way that it keeps the uh, uh, two-factor authenticator in the system. So you're never going to have to type that code ever again. So all you're going to do is start up the program and click log in. And uh, once you're here, everything is set. And also, uh, one thing I want to tell you again, actually, there's another tab I didn't show you. Uh, this one is for Armageddon. Um, the profile here, you see a couple of different things, useful things here. It shows your XP level, your battle points, your missions completed, uh, your personal crates. You can open up all crates here. Um, I don't think it shows you your actual rewards. Like I can go ahead and press this right now. It'll just show a box. Actually, there we go. A Phobo skin. I'm not really sure what weapon it was for, but uh, uh, that's just all this thing displays. But it does transfer it just as if you were doing on the website itself. You can upgrade your base here and you can start missions. So you see I have 32 in energy. So if I click this, there's not enough energy. Um, also, another very useful one, the weekly challenges. This shows everything you need to do for each week. But also, there is a one for undone missions. And this will show anything you haven't done yet or are currently doing. So it's nice to have this little uh, page up here to know what you need to do next within all the weeks and not have to click between the tabs. Uh, but basically, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you find this bot to be useful and you use it. Um, definitely give credit to Sean Welk if you see him around. Uh, don't PM in or anything, but uh, definitely a great thing he's done here for the community. And I hope you guys enjoyed and will use this bot just like I am using it every day. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.